Hey guys, Mark Harbor from markharbor.com here and in this video I want to talk to you about five keys to making effective videos that create lots of leads for your business. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about it. Number one, you have to be answering the questions that your market is looking for answers to. This ought to be really actually very simple to understand. When you go on the internet and you look for things, what is it that you're looking for? You're looking for an answer typically, whether you're looking up a definition, you know, what's this word mean? Uh, what did, what happened over in, you know, Arizona the other day, when you go to look for the news, it's always usually going to get information to get an answer. It's the same thing with your business. People in your market, whatever it is that you're selling, whatever it is that you're marketing could be a business opportunity, a product, no matter what it is, they are looking for an answer to their problem. You need to know what are the, the problems that your market has. Then you can create content that answers those problems and gives them the answer. So it's very important to understand you've got to be willing to answer the questions that your market has. Now, here's another key for you. Key number two, I love talking head videos. What's a talking head video? It's basically the video I'm making for you right now. My head is here and I'm talking to you. You know, the cool thing about this is that you actually get to know me. You get to hear my voice, see my face, see my personality. You get to look at my messy office behind me. You get to know a little bit about me. You actually get a little window in and you get to see who I am and what I'm about. And that's what I'm talking about. People can make a connection more with you when you're in the actual video. Now, is it possible to create videos and not be in them? Of course. And they are effective but it's more effective if you are in the video. It creates more of a bond with your prospect and it will go much, much further than if you were to just do a screen share video or a slide video uh, with just your voice. So I am very partial to talking head videos and if you're afraid of, of, uh, of getting in the camera, I encourage you to really work through that fear and uh, you know make sure that you um, you know, you, you uh, work hard to get over that because it can be very, very effective to be on the camera and let your prospects see and hear who you are. They will get to know you much better. They'll like you and it will make much more of a difference. So point number three, educate your audience. Look, one of the things that I love and I've lived by this philosophy for a very long time is to under promise and over deliver. Anytime you under promise and over deliver, what you do is you create a difference from expectation to delivery. If somebody's expectations are here and you give them here, guess what that does? You've created a raving fan, okay? Now here's where the problem really comes in. Expectations are here and you deliver here. That is not good. There's too much of a gap on the downside. Your goal is to get it on the upside, okay? So under promise, over deliver and educate your audience. If they are looking for an answer to their question, keying off of key number one, give them the answer, but go over and above and give them something additional that can really make a difference. I'm telling you, it'll make a difference in, in, uh, you know, in your conversions. It'll make a difference in how many leads you get. It'll make a difference in the audience that you build. So keep that in mind. All right. So point number four is in your videos, take advantage of branding opportunities. Now, if you'll notice in this video at the very beginning, you saw my name come up on the screen. Uh, you saw a little transition into when I started talking and that is a branding opportunity where you actually get to get your name in front of somebody and it kind of creates an impression on their mind. You see, when you have that opportunity, do it. Now in your videos, especially in the home business niche, I really encourage you not to get too fancy with your videos. You don't want to go overboard because especially in our industry of home business, if people see what you're doing and it's too fancy, they're going to feel like they can't do that and they're not going to pursue maybe something that you teach them. So if you have an opportunity to put in uh, some basic editing and add your brand in there, absolutely it's going to help you. It's going to sear your mind and your brand in their mind and when you answer questions, especially on specific topics, people are going to look at you like the expert. So keep that in mind when you're creating videos that you want to convert into leads. All right. So point number five, the final point 
ditch the scripts. Okay, this video right here that I'm in, I am not reading off a teleprompter. I'm just looking right here in the camera and I'm just talking. You see, when I come from the heart, when I just talk to you, like I'm talking to my best friend or I'm sitting on the couch and we're sitting in front of the fire, maybe drinking a beer, whatever. Or if you don't you know, drink beer, maybe you're just drinking a lemonade or something like that, whatever. Point is, is you want to act like you're literally sitting across from somebody and you're just having an awesome conversation, sharing some really cool information. Now, there is a time for scripts. Okay, for instance, if you're creating a sales video for a product, a script is okay. You know, especially if it's on the screen, you're doing a screen share and you're just reading along. That's fine. The cool thing about that though is even when you're doing that, you still want to come across in your voice like you're not reading. So there is a time for scripts. But in a talking head video like I'm doing right now, I do not like scripts. You can have some points down. You can have some points, maybe things that you want to hit on. That's okay, but don't be reading. You know, if I'm reading, I can go back and forth and you see my eyes going. It's just not as effective, okay? So super important. Keep these things in mind. These five keys will help you create better videos and uh, it will certainly help you. So if you want to create even better videos and get them out on the internet, uh, one of my favorite ways to do it is YouTube. I have always loved YouTube. I think YouTube is an amazing place to generate free traffic and free leads. Um, I have a video marketing cheat sheet that I put together and it's updated. I recently updated it and I know it will benefit you in a huge way when using YouTube. If you haven't gotten access to that, right here on my blog, all you need to do is go up to the, the top on the sidebar and enter in your information, and I will shoot that over to you. You can get access to that, and it literally is a, something you can print off. You can put it on your desk, and you can follow along every time that you upload a video. It also comes with a 45-minute uh, training video that shows you how to use it. It, uh, it really explains a process of getting videos uh, ranked very, very quickly, uh, and it will make a big difference in your business. So make sure you pick that up, or you can just click the link right below this video too, and uh, you'll get the same thing. So I hope I appreciate you. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope it makes sense. Take these five keys into consideration when doing every video, and it will make a difference for you. All right, I appreciate you. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.